Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to your September 2023 Tarot and Astrology reading with me, Melissa, from Island Girl Tarot. <clears throat> Welcome to my channel. You can reach me at islandgirl2008 at gmail.com and king.com slash islandgirl. Both of those girls has two L's on the end of girl. Uh, for the astrology for September for you, Scorpio, we have so many things going either direct or retrograde for the month of September. We have both uh, Venus uh, and Jupiter are stationing. Venus direct, Jupiter retrograde on or around the 3rd or 4th of September. And then on the 15th of September, um, Mercury goes direct. And for you guys, uh, the Mercury and Jupiter is trining uh, with that direct and retrograde station at the time that Mercury stations to, uh, to go direct. And for you all, that'll be in your seventh, in your 11th house. And to me, that's a relationship with friends, a good close friend, somebody that you've known a good long time. Peter Pan says, hello, Scorpio, you solid black kitty cat. Um, and so there's going to be something there. I, I've, I'm thinking as I'm looking at the Mars quincunx Saturn as well here in your 12th and 6th house. This is probably a work friend or a work partner, and I feel like something's either been hidden from you or kept from you. There's something that you're not completely aware of. Let me just, that's just what I feel. So, you know, do with the astrology, put the comments in the, um, and let me know how this does actually manifest for you. Um, Let's see here. And you guys have got Pluto sitting there, you know, trying to go into your fourth house. That, that's going to be life changing as far as where you live. I'd imagine when that happens in two or three years. So let me see what's happening for you, uh, Scorpio, for September 2023. Peter Pan is not happy with me. He's wanting something. All right, so Scorpio. Interesting. You know, Scorpio, I'm really surprised there's nothing in your ninth house. Uh, because this looks very much, she's a thief. This looks like it's a breakup of a, uh, of a partnership in some way. And look, the, I mean, look at the king, I mean, the queen, the page, and the three of swords. Um, I'm going to read this a couple of different ways because it is possible that this is a child and that you're worried about this child going off to school. There is that. That 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 is definitely a way that this can, uh, <clears throat> can play out because you're definitely worried, Scorpio. And uh, we are at that time of year where kids are getting ready to go back to school. And, of course, there's so many things to worry about now with kids going back to school. It's not just whether or not they're going to pass anymore. It's whether they walk out of there healthy. Um, and because the community card is out with the four of wands, I just, there's just something going on here. You're, this queen of swords is the center of the reading. And, um, uh, you know, it's Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. And, but it's also a female attorney to me, um. Uh, so I'm not quite sure how she's fitting in here. She's, there's something, there's something that's happening that she's going to put the kibosh on or is going to have the final say is what it looks like. Um, you know, this kid is trying to either move or relocate. It could be that they don't like their um, roommate and they're trying to get a different roommate. Uh, if this is somebody going off to school, otherwise it's, it's, it's somebody that you, that is in the community that's around you and it could be a business owner, but it's somebody that you have a working relationship with, uh, in some way and it's going to end. It could be a vendor, you know, since you guys have got stuff going on in your sixth house as well. It could be, it could be a vendor or a supplier or somebody that, that you have to deal with that they've been slow, 
they haven't been doing their job well, um, and you're just flat out not happy with them at all, just not happy with them at all. And um, you're gonna you're gonna put the kibosh on it, I think, and you're just gonna sever. Something's being severed here. Um, now the other way with this kid going to school. It could be that you got him in school. Maybe he went early. You know, a lot of them start earlier in August, and he's ready to come back. And, you know, and that that's also it, it's not working out. Um, so whatever this is is a an ongoing situation that is finally going to get resolved because you're going to just cut it, and you're just you're just excising out the issue. Um, now. Once you have done that and once the process has happened, then things will stabilize and you're going to have a foundation upon which to build from there. So it does end well, but but this getting there doesn't look very pleasant. <laughs> I mean, it's somebody's somebody's getting their head handed to them. So and like I said, this is either with a kid. Uh, it could be school. It could be a work partner. It could be a good friend somebody that you've known a long time and of course here's the other thing is we're starting to come into the eclipse season and all the eclipses are going to be in libra which is the uh, libra and aries which is the i we axis and so a lot of that stuff you know we're all going to end up losing friends and having issues with people we never thought we'd have issues with so please scorpio keep me posted and let me know what is happening with you leave a comment i'd love to see how this manifests for you like share subscribe basically the channel is starting over from scratch uh, so i do need help in that regard and again if you would like a reading from me it's islandgirl2008 at gmail.com and keen.com slash islandgirl and i will go ahead and tell you all that there's a substantial surcharge on the keen.com i am working overnight and then there's their platform uh, as well so the booking directly with me at island girl uh 2008 slash gmail is is a saving so definitely do that if you'd like a keen five star rated um tarot card psychic astrologer to read for you i'd be happy to have a great day scorpio have a great month and if there's anything i can do just please get in contact Take care. Bye-bye.